Good evening. Uh, the next bracha. So the Levush writes that the 14th bracha, B'nai Yerushalayim, corresponds to that which the Malachim said, Bruch HaTashem B'nai Yerushalayim, at the time that Shlomo built the base on Mikdash. And it's said after all that Tzadikim, because the, the primary uplifting of Tzadikim to the Hisromus of Karnos Tzadikim is in Yerushalayim. As it says, Shalu Shlomo Yerushalayim Yishloyu Ayovecha. The uh, the uh, will seek the peace of Jerusalem, in which the you know, those who love it will find tranquility. And at Tishba we had Nachem, obviously because of the relevance. The Aras Vash writes that this brach the brach is at Semach. One should actually cry when reciting them without si- si- without si- desisting. Dimo mein hafugos that. Of, out of yearning for the being, rebuilding of Shalim and the re- restoration of the honor of King David, because that will be the ultimate perfection of mankind. Tachlis Shlemus Enoshi. And if we do not have you Shalim and the Machus based David, Lama Lono Chaim. Why? What blood is life worth? You is called the Kisei Hashem, the throne of God, and which uh, 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 and Shlomos sitting on his throne was akin therefore to the Merkava on high. And that's why it says Vesh Shlomo Kisei Hashem is sat on the throne of God. Malachi Malo themselves, the high Malachi on high, cry with the with the sobs and with lamentations on the Khurban of Yushalayim day and night, they do not desist. And they themselves are mourning for Yushalayim how should we be silent? How should we not cry in the Chil Hashem, which was the, the, caused by the desecration of the destruction of Shalem and the loss of Machus based of it? And everybody should say in their heart, We burn Shalom, Master of the Universe. I, uh, I uh, uh, am willing to give my my, my life, Arani Moser Nefesh, on the holiness of your name, Abdush Shimcha. And if I'm not worthy to see the, 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 the construction of Zion and the restoration of the kingship house of David, I should die I should die sanctifying your name. And my, uh, should, my eyes should not see the, uh, 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 the anything other than the building of Mushalim and the uh, sprouting of the honor of David in order for Kedusha Sashem. Vene lo siyena ros efes b'nei Yerushalayim v'atzmiya keren l'david v'an yishkadish shemecha. And you should have mercy on your uh, downtrodden children who are uh, rejected in exile and suffer on your oneness and sanctify your name in public. That is the end of the quote from the Yaros Vash. Very moving words. The, so we start with Brother Vushlaim and the uh, Eitz Yosef says that um, the, the, why, the, why does it say Bil Yushalayim? So it's a, a reboy. It comes to include on something else, the Yushalayim Shamala. As we know that uh, Chazal say that Hashem does not enter Yushalayim Shamal, whatever that means, until Yushalayim on b- below is rebuilt. That's what it says, Vil Yushalayim. So the um, the uh, Eel Tfilah gives a slightly different answer. So it's not just slightly different. He says, The two, uh, the pre- two, uh, br- the Brachos, Vil Amal Shinim and Yushalayim, as opposed to Tzadikim, begin with Vavs because they have to do that which came before them. Because when the Sanhedrin was restored, then we would be able to judge and uh, uh, and eliminate the Malshinim. And uh, when the Tzadikim will uplift their heads and their their horn will be uplifted with honor, then Yushalayim will be able to return to Yushalayim. Because when the Tzadikim are low and the Mishoyim say, uh, uh, are on high, so the Shekhinah is with them in, so, in their anguish. And therefore we have to restore the uh, Tzadikim 
to the resolved position so that the Shekhinah can be redeemed from its uh, uh, exile as well. So the Shemim Chol Rachamim Toshu, we should come back to Rachamim. The 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 ATS says Rachamim Toshu that you sh- that it should not be Yerushalayim as it previously was when it says this city was uh, caused me uh, Hashem says anguish and anger rather you should come come back and have mercy upon it so um, the, it's possible that we say Barachim Tashu in order to ask Hakadosh Baruch that we should be redeemed early we should not be Beita what the appropriate appropriate time whenever that might be, but Achishana with mercy, Achish Baruch will return us to Yushalayim earlier. It also could be that's slightly slight, slightly different than the Yosef that when we're in Yerushalayim, Hashem should relate to us as uh, with Rachamim. But in fact, it means that the building of Yerushalayim. We mentioned where this, 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 I believe, in the past. The Gra would not say in Betchi Bonei Brachim of Yerushalayim Omein because Bonei Yerushalayim is required of Hakadosh Baruch we promised. So therefore, it's not Rachamim. So therefore, he wouldn't say Bonei Brachim of Yerushalayim. He just said Bonei Yerushalayim Omein. So here, so to here, according to the Gra, why are we saying Barachamim? So either that it should come early, or perhaps that when he comes back, he should treat us with Rachamim. In the restored Yushalayim and Beis Hamikdash, as they say, the Sishkom Besocha Kasheri Barta, you should dwell in the midst of Yushalayim as you spoke, and this, of course, should be as opposed to now when the Shechina is in Golos. Uvnei Osab Bekaro Biyamenu Binyan Olam should build it for us quickly and the for eternity. Um, uh, uh, the the uh, the the uh, that brings the young feeler brings down here a matter from Pashas Noach which says that uh, uh, when a Kushbar who ultimately rebuilds you should listen to this I should say the Tanchuma he brings down the Tanchuma from Madura Tzas Buber uh, in Pashas Noach says that Abnezo said before a Kushbar who rebuilds Olam the Yushalayim was already built and destroyed so he says the Kushbar says it was destroyed because of the sins. And I exhale you from 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 within it, but in the eventual future I will build it and build it and not destroy it again, as it says. Kibone Hashem Tzion, the Rebbe Chavodo. Kibone Hashem Tzion, sorry, the Rebbe Chavodo. Because Hashem rebuilds Zion, we're going to see His honor. Um, the the Yaakov Tzilim says, the Tzilim says Gimel, Edo Sechol Nem Lumaod. Your testimony is truly trustworthy. Shlomo built it and it was destroyed. Ezra built it and it was destroyed. But you are Orech Yomim, meaning that the eventual Binyan will not be destroyed again. And he brings out uh, other Midrash and to this effect. When um, in the Second World War, Rommel uh, was uh, advancing uh, unchecked across North Africa until, of course, the. Um, until, of course, the um, uh, he had his reversal at El Alamein, but as he was proceeding uh, uh, unchecked across North Africa, so people in Eretz Yisrael were very afraid that he would reach Eretz Yisrael and wreak havoc there among the, the Yishuv, and uh, people were thinking of leaving, so they went to Rav Herzog's Zatzal, and Rav Herzog said he's not going to reach Eretz Yisrael. So they said, how do you know he's not going to reach Eretz Yisrael? This is why I heard the story many years ago, because he said, there two Goliaths appear in the sources. In Tanakh, in Chazal, a third Golis doesn't appear in Chaz- Tanakh or Chazal. Once the ultimate Gula process begins, it never comes to a halt or is never reversed. So uh, the uh, uh, there might be reversed souls, but it's not reversed. So therefore, he said that Rambam is never going to reach out. So the Kachab. So this uh, this is actually what these Midrashim are saying that the next time around, binyan olam, which should be eternal uh, construction, as we have been promised. So in the outside field, which I have here, <laughs> there is a big gap. Oops, the David Avdecha is missing So I guess I just got lazy and. There wasn't much difference between Nusus and Nusus Ashkenaz here, so they just took out the word Avdecha from the Nusus Ashkenaz 
uh, Siddur, which appears in the Nusla Sfarad Siddur. Uh, so the, and that's what you bring to the Yudfil. In the Sidurim of the Sfardim, it says, uh, oh no, that's not what he brings out, sorry. Uh, the, um, the H.C. Yosef says, uh, that in this bracha, uh, there are 24 words, which corresponds to, uh, which is the possible which is the Hey, twenty-four letters, and there shall also be twenty-four words, and there shall be blessed twenty-four brachos about This is from the Perush Hamachsa. So according to this, you should. That's why we say the Chisay David Meir, not Chisay David Avdecha Meir, in order not to lose the twenty-four letter value. So, uh, in any event, we want the, the, the throne of David to be uh, speedily uh, set up in its time, in, in its place in Yerushalayim. Um, so the and then we answer Baruch Hashem Bonei Yerushalayim. We, we conclude Bonei Yerushalayim. So uh, there's a long Dovah Shalom on this. The Dovah Shalom says the man uh, it says the Meshur Shimba Yechai uh, um, said uh, the, the Meshur Shimba Yechai says that uh, first the base of Mitzvah is built and then the the walls of Yerushalayim are rebuilt, and th that's why we say the Sishkom B'Socha with Binyan with build base of Mitzvah, and afterwards Bnei Osa to rebuild Yerushalayim. And he says, all this should be speedily in our time. Uh, the uh, the reason why you say at the end of every bracha, and Shemar say not just this one, uh, like Mechaim Mesim, where you're burning your shrine in a language of Hove, the, the constant, uh, I don't know, fancy language there for English, but you know, the, the language of the continuous language, is, uh, uh, and we don't say in the future tense, such as Yechaim Mesim, so he says, why is this possible? Because in truth, all these things uh, are constantly being accomplished. Because uh, he says, in the Brach of Atogi Bar, there are the, all the matters of death uh, of the five, four people considered as if they are dead. Ani, a poor person, Mitzora, a leper, Suma, a blind person, Mishael, a body, Mitzora, has no children. And every day, a Kodesh Baruch Hu works, so to speak, to override these st 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 uh, uh, situations. Pokeach Ivrim, I'm sorry, Pokeach Ivrim Ivros, he opens the, the uh, eyes of the blind, and he heals the Mitzora, who comes to, close to death, and he gives riches to the poor, and he brings children to the barren. So he's being Machai and Mesim also now, in the present. And so to go to Yisrael. Because all the tzaros, all the which uh, which come upon us, they uh, are not chas uh, a, a revenge of Hashem against His nation, but for the they're for the good. That through these punishments you'll get to the ultimate perfection of the geula. And if that's the case, all the punishments are a cause for the geula because they bring the geula a step further. And therefore, it says that even in the matter of the tzaros, there is. Goel Yisrael, there is a, a process towards the redemption. Uh, besides that, uh, Chazal say that the Jewish nation is like a, a lamb among 70 uh, wolves, and Hashem constantly saves us from their attempts at annihilating us. So it's also Goel Yisrael. And also, when it says, So, the, on this we say, uh, we, he says, Chazal tell us that all that Hashem spread us among all the corners of the earth in order to add Gerim, because all of this um, in that way, since it's, uh, it's all to add Gerim, so therefore the entire scattering of the Jewish nation is ultimately a cause for redemption when he uh, gathers up together with the Gerim. And also, Chazal say, even though people are at distance. Kodesh Baruch Hu does not distance them, and every person is capable, capable of gaining no matter what he does, where he is, to the perfection of his purpose, the or the purpose of his perfection. Musa, and so do we say Shoiver Oivim. So uh, when we say Shoiver Oivim, we want Kodesh Baruch Hu now to destroy the Rishon, and Bonei Yerushalayim. 
It says is that what he says based on what the Kabbalah says that the the wall of fire that with which the Kosh is eventually uh, going to bring the base and make those down, it is made up of sparks of fire of U.S. Hashem that of the Hashem aroused in the learning and their avodah of Hashem. Hashem, so to speak, puts them together, combines them, and from them is made up the fire, the the fire, the fiery wall. So that's case he's burning Yushalayim each and every moment by collecting the sparks of fire which we uh, generate through our year of Hashem and through our learning. It also includes that which Chazal say that Malachi that, that uh, um, when the Tamir Rabbi Yechel went and he saw the Malachi Ashores that they were sowing uh, precious stones for the gates of Yushalayim. So whatever that means, it means that the process of the Gula is ongoing. We start the Shekhinah Tzionahs also in this way because that the punishments are caused for the Gula. And also because the Medrash says that every night the Shekhinah comes to the destroyed base of Mikdash and mo- moans it, mo- uh, and mourns it and uh, laments it. So if that's the case, the Gosh is Mashir Shekhinah Tzion each and every day and it should happen in actuality. Bekara B'Yomenu Amenah.